So Santosh, how did you like the session today? I mean, did Interesting. You... It, uh, it brought in uh, different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we have fresh voices actually on the panel. Okay. And that was interesting. The struggle mm -hmm. came through. Mm -hmm. Is that you do research after years and months of work uh, and you find it, you know, uh, safely kept away in a steel cupboard. cupboard. Uh, but you also had examples of uh, research that was immediately taken up. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think this whole notion, the idea that you need actually an, infra uh, 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 an information uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. that sits on top of research, mm -hmm. I think it's an idea whose time has come. Okay. Because on the one hand, you need researchers to work independently mm -hmm. uh, without being influenced by the sort of, you know, the implications of what their research mm -hmm. is producing. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you need, uh, for policy makers, you need the inputs that they need. Mm -hmm. The point is that you give them inputs, you don't give them inputs, they're really going to do what they have to do. So it's all a question of, uh, 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 I think there's a lot of value in, in investing. It's, I think it's a global public good in which you now, especially donors and governments need to invest in. Uh, so this was our first attempt to bring the funders and the researchers together. In case we would like to replicate this, taking the learnings from this, what would you suggest that, which are the actors that we have not reached out to, or which are the actors that would be more important to be... You know, what's, um, that's, that's, that's interesting. You know, who's missing from this discussion here is actually government. Uh, and government, both in terms of, you know, ministers, parliamentarians, mm -hmm. political parties. See, one thing that came in today's discussion is that one is research and evidence for policy, the other is evidence for, for, for the democratic discourse. And if there is a reason why we are struggling with uptake on, on, mm. on solid evidence, is because the democratic discourse has not picked up on it and has not matured enough to be able to act either as a countervailing force mm -hmm. or as a prevailing force. Uh, a force. Mm -hmm. So I think in these discussions we need to have parliamentarians, we need to get uh, uh, people, civil servants, mm -hmm. and we need to get uh, uh, people from political parties. Of course, the discussion will be far more animated. I'm not sure we are prepared for this. The the world of research and Speaks evidence. The same language. Well, it's I am sure it's something we find difficult to deal with, but I think. It's something that's needed. Okay, so I mean, I'll come to the last question, and you'll, so if today evening, if somebody asks you, where did your day go? And so, in if two sentences you have to say that, what did you take up from the entire meeting? What would you kind of say? What was something that two things? Won't... Two things that struck me very hard is one, as I said, the need for this, you know, brokering. Okay. That came through very powerfully, and the other is for evidence and research to actually inform the democratic discourse. These are two main things that I take away from this so, discussion. I, sorry, I'm just taking another point. So, if this knowledge brokering has to happen in India. What would be the way? Because we don't have an institutionalized mechanism. So you don't, you don't how need, do you suggest? You don't need institutional account? mechanisms. What you need is more money being put for it. Because all existing institutional framework is more than enough to do that. But the problem is that I don't think both governments and philanthropies are investing adequately in this infrastructure. It's all about, you know, give me research that's impactful. Or maybe to justify what or I Or give me research that can justify what I want to do. So, so, you know, this will continue to happen. But then we also need to create that, that edifice which constantly mines research credibly and providing the evidence maps, the, the sort of, you know, the conclusions, the checklists, etc. Uh, that's that we need more investment. Okay, thank you, Dr. Santosh. Pleasure. Thanks for your time.